Now that the robot is correctly mated, you're ready to test it in an assembly. So you will create a new document that's your cell and load in the robot and everything else. So here you can see I have loaded in the robot. I've also loaded in a bin and a conveyor. So what you have in here will depend on whatever you want your robot to be doing. So you can see here, I have the floor and the robot is mounted at the origin. So here where there's dot is, that is 0. 0.000. So you click the dot, that's the origin. You can see the coordinates here. The next thing you'll want to do is put a mate connector anywhere that you want the robot to be able to reach. So you can see that I have mate connectors in some locations. There's a mate connector that's on the end of the robot. And we can see that because it was already there. We put that in when we were doing the mates. Um, and there are some other things I've put. You can see the middle of the conveyor, just above the conveyor, the bottom corner of the box. You can see there's a little cube in the box for the robot to pick up. And then there's just this other, this floating location. So you can add a mate connector pretty much anywhere you want. You just click mate connector. Then you'll want to click the origin and move. So here you put in the coordinates of whatever you want it to go to. Say that's 0 0.5 x, um, 1 in the y, and 0 0.5 in the z. And we'll call this one point 0.1, but we want the robot to try to touch. So here's point 0.1. Now we want to see if the robot will reach point 0.1. So we'll get a revolute mate because we know, or fasten mate. Now we want the end of the robot. So we'll click that, mate connector EE. Good, that's the one we want. And then we'll click point 0.1. So then we solve. Now you can see here that the robot fell apart. You see the end of the robot is no longer on there. It's on the mate connector. So something is wrong there. You can see now the red button. So that means that the robot can't reach that spot. It's probably too close. It's not really in the robot's workspace. So that gives us a clue that that is not a good spot to reach. But now let's say if we put that mate connector somewhere else. So undo this. Let's say this is 1, 1, 0 0.5. Perhaps the robot can reach that spot. So we'll try again. Fasten mate, click the end of the robot, click the point, try to solve. This one still does not solve. So we can kind of repeat that by going to the point. Um, but you can see also, it looks like. the robot went actually underneath the point. So maybe it's trying to grab it from below, which obviously is a terrible position. So we can go back to that mate and we'll try flip directions. There, the robot can reach it. So sometimes you have to be careful and make sure that the robot's in the correct orientation and not just the correct position. So pose is position plus orientation. So we could here make a name position for that, call it pose one, add. Now we'll go and delete that mate so that we can put the robot back in its home position. So you will need to put a mate connector at, at least the pick point and the place point, whatever points in the cell that the robot needs to be able to reach then made it to that 
to make sure that it can actually reach all of them in the correct pose. So you can see here for the pick one, I have named that. This is the pick point. So I'll press pick. The robot will go there. Go back to home. And now for the place point, this is another kind of thing that, um, like a troubleshooting method I'm gonna show you. So let's say we want the robot to reach place point. This particular point, you can see that is zero in the X, two in the Y, 1.5 in the Z. That's where that top mate connector is, the place mate connector. So we'll fasten, we'll find end of the robot, place, make sure it's in the right direction. There we go. Sometimes you will have to guide the robot over to the mate connector if it can't automatically solve. Because sometimes, as, as, well, as you know, there are multiple possible joint positions that could reach a certain end effector position. So it, sometimes Onshape won't know which one to choose, which solution. So you will need to guide the robot closer just by like clicking on its wrist and dragging it over until it's kind of close to the spot you want to touch if it doesn't just go there automatically. So make sure once you have finished that and put your robot back into the home position. That you appropriately share the document with whoever needs to. So you would click the share button. You would add in my email address as can edit. Make sure that I can comment. And then you would click share. This way, when I come in to grade it, I will click the comments button and type in whatever was wrong or correct and so that you all know kind of how, how good it was and this is how I'm going to grade it. There are also lots of tutorials on Onshape's website that are not specifically to robotics, but will help you with importing, exporting, creating parts, assemblies, all that kind of basic stuff.